Osiru Wisdom, and this is my wife. Favor Osiru Wisdom. Welcome again to For, for Better for, for Us. us. Today, we are discussing commitment in your love life. Commitment. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Commitment. <laughs> that key word, commitment. And so, commitment is so important. Um, I had a wise man define love to mean an unconditional commitment to an imperfect person. Mm. Commitment is a game changer in relationships, a game changer in your life mm. as a whole. Possible? You take it up. And you know, the word commitment is actually is not a very romantic word. <laughs> it, it connotes work. So when you hear the word commitment, it means work. So it actually goes um, beyond the marriage vows that we actually say at the altar. It means a commitment, again, to work your yes. marriage. Yes. A commitment to work your marriage, and not just today, but forever. Wow. And I think um, um, it, it becomes a beautiful thing when you understand that this marriage journey, as God designed it, that it's actually supposed to be forever. And you know, when I hear the word commitment, something, there's this example that flashes my mind, a garden and a bush. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Do you know that the garden and the bush have similar qualities? There's grass here, there's grass here. But one of the things that makes the garden stand out is the work that has been put into it. And that's commitment. And that's commitment. So I can say that the garden is an organized bush. Absolutely. <laughs> it's a bush that has been worked on because you see the flowers are trimmed, the place is well taken care of, and that's exactly what God wants us to do in our marriage, okay. to work it. Yeah, if you want your marriage to work, work it. Work it, exactly. Every marriage that is working, somebody is, is working. working. Somebody is working. Exactly. Like Pastor ever rightly said, the difference between a bush and a garden simple work, work. simple commitment exactly. the moment you are committed sometimes if you're not careful you look at other people's relationship mm -hmm. and you know, their garden appears greener Whoa. and you see a lot of tongues in your own yeah you to know that those people they also had opportunity to <laughs> allow weeds and tongues to take over the relationship mm -hmm. but they made a choice to begin to plug it up because commitment is a choice Hmm. Commitment is a decision. De In your relationship, hmm. you have to get beyond just feeling and make a decision. Hmm. Our relationship changed when we got to that point. We say, exactly. no, it's not going to be based on feeling. Sometimes you feel high, sometimes you feel hmm. low. Okay, but your decision is almost static it doesn't change mm -hmm. your decision is what introduces a game-changing element in your relationship yes the moment you take a decision sure. i'm going to love somebody exactly i'm going to commit to somebody exactly is he perfect no is yes, she perfect, perfect? No. no yeah but you have made up your mind in that your imperfection mm -hmm. i'm going to be committed oh. i will not allow my emotion to override my sense of judgment in terms of my my decision mm. sometimes your feeling may not even line up with your decision but oh. hey a committed person stays with his or her decision wow. even when it hurts that's mm. what makes love last that's what make relationships last that's what make marriages last exactly. commitment commitment mm. in different areas of your life and you know there's something you said something there are times where you wouldn't feel mm -hmm. like loving mm -hmm. but you can actually start doing loving things yeah. because of commitment yeah. and you find out that once you start doing the loving things mm -hmm. feelings will line up oh because sometimes yeah. you wait to feel before you act but mm -hmm. you can actually act into feeling yeah it's, it's easier mm -hmm. it's easier to move from Acting, acting to, to feeling, feeling than when you are waiting for feeling to act before you act <laughs> and so sometimes let me give you a good example mm. as my first go to work today is friday to, you're going to go to work on monday for instance yeah. sometimes you don't feel like going to work on monday you mm. literally drag yourself out of the bed mm. but you have made a commitment to your organization i'll be there 8 a.m to your family, so your to your family now so what <laughs> what drives you to work on monday morning most times it's not that you love that office so much i'm not saying you oh hate your office, but i'm saying commitment drives you there sense of responsibility okay? so for a spouse for your partner mm. one reason why you will not you know become someone that is not 
you know, faithful. Yeah. Become unfaithful yes. is because of commitment. Commitment. Because the the, the mm. beauty of your wife doesn't make another person ugly. No. So people <laughs> don't say they're not going to get into infidelity. Yes. Not because their Definitely. husband is the most handsome person. No. And their wife is the most pretty person. It's because they have commitment. decided to allow their life to run on commitment. Commitment. Commitment will help even when you feel getting angry to hit someone. Say, ah, I'm committed <laughs> to peace in this house. <laughs> when you feel like keeping malice, you say, uh, not good, but oh I'm going to keep in uh, so You see that? So yes. commitment helps you. Even when you feel like if I tell a lie, small lie, you know, mm. great, great lie, mm. or white lie, I, I, I will escape. Be, but you say, no, I'm committed to this relationship. Oh. I'm going to say the truth. Mm. Commitment is going to change your relationship, change your life, change your marriage. And we encourage you to be a person of commitment. Find yourself committing in the area of transparency. Exactly. Commit to say, wow. commit to say it all. Hmm. Okay. Find yourself being committed in the area of finances, for instance. Exactly. Don't hide money. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> find people your, hide a lot of money. People hide. I mean, in relationship, so people hide a lot of things. Now, the, the, the other part is commit to keeping to your words. Let your word yes. be your bond. If you tell your spouse, I'm going to do this, do that. Mm. I'm sure if you're married and you have children, you know you can you can overcome your spouse, but you can not likely overcome your children easily. They will remind you that, that that's what you said. Yeah. So I said, I said, that is what you said. You they don't to forget to your words. They don't yeah. forget easily. Yeah. So we encourage you to be a person of commitment. You will watch your relationship change. Sometimes we are waiting for our spouse mm. to sow the seed of commitment. Mm -hmm. What do you advise them to do when in such situation? But I, I think you should actually be the change that you seek to see. Correct. Start first start showing commitment show commitment in the area of your finances show commitment even to your kids don't lie to your kids you know sometimes we tell our kids we're going to do this we're going to do that and just to get them off our back and then we don't commit to what we have said we do so be the change that you seek to see start sowing the seeds of commitment I know some persons will say but pastor favor and pastor reason this is hard my spouse is this my spouse is that no for the sake of what you represent as a human being be committed let your word be your bond absolutely wow isn't that amazing 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 yes amazing yes yes, yes we trust that this is going to help you yes. take your relationship to a whole new, new level. level until we come your way again next time it is still for better for us to stay committed god bless you